Good morning! I'm so excited because today you're in for a special Earth Week treat. Can I tell you what it is? We're going to be planting our very own seed. Yes! I'm so excited! I can't wait! You don't have to do anything today. Don't worry, you don't need any soil or any seeds. All you need to do as a listener today is get ready to learn and listen for facts about seeds and growing plants. Okay? Okay, let's get our listening ears ready and sing our listening song together. Ready? Eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still. Feet are really quiet, you should really try it. Listen well, listen well. Now if you look at the front cover of this story, what do you notice about the picture? Yes, I see a sunflower, very good. Does that sunflower look real? Like you could look outside and see that kind of picture? Or does it look like someone drew the picture, like an illustrator? I think so too, it looks like a real picture. So today we're going to be reading a certain kind of story called nonfiction. Can you say that with me? Nonfiction. Great! A nonfiction story has real pictures, real words, and when I see a cover like this, I think in my head as a reader, I'm going to be learning something new or learning facts. So I'll ask you before we read, what do you know about seeds or plants? That is awesome. I'm so glad you know that. That will come in handy when we read today. So the story is called Seed to Plant and it's written by Kristen Baird Radisson. Oh, here's another thing that tells me right off the bat that this is a nonfiction book. This right here is called our Table of Contents. Can you say that with me? Table of Contents. You got it. And a table of contents isn't like a table you sit at for dinner. The table of contents tells me what's inside the contents of the story and page numbers where I can find what I'm learning. So today we'll learn what is a plant on page. Can you tell that number? Four, very good. Or parts of a plant or how does a plant begin? A plant grows on page 12 and lots more. Well, let's get started and see what we can learn. Remember, you're listening for facts, things that we can learn about the plant. What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. It stays in one place, but it grows and changes just like you. Do you grow and change? I do too, we all do. This is a white water lily and a fern. Those labels tell me what kind of plants they are. Here's a tangerine tree. Plants can be big or small. Some have flowers, like this orchid. Others also grow fruit. Trees are plants too. If you learn something new on that page, touch your nose. Awesome! If you knew something already that I read, put your hand on your ear. Very good. That is wonderful. See, we're learning already. Plants are a big part of our world. Farmers grow fruits and vegetables. These plants give us food. Some plants can be used to make clothing. Your t-shirt is made from cotton plants. Look at it, it says a farmer in his cotton field. How cool is that? I'll have to check to see if my shirt's made of cotton. Do you think yours might be? That would be cool. Other plants are cozy homes for animals, like this bear in a tree. Now this page has a silly joke. Are you ready? How is a tree like a big dog? They both have a lot of bark. <laughs> Get it? 
a tree has bark on the trunks and a dog says bark you got it <gasps> parts of a plant okay stand up just like the little girl ready stand nice and tall come on okay here we go parts of a plant you can use your body to remember the parts of a plant arms move your arms a little bit good your arms are like the leaves sway your leaves here's a breeze your arms are flowing your body is like the stem so your body is like the stem the part that holds the plant up stay nice and still nice and strong good job and your feet are like the roots the roots grow in the ground so those are three parts of a plant we just learned they have leaves move your leaves the stem and remember what your feet were called er, er, er. roots very good okay you can sit back down now roots hold the plant in the ground the stem helps keep the plant standing up leaves soak up the sunlight mm, i feel like i learned a lot on that page too so we have the leaves the stem and the er, er, er roots you got it good listening oh i feel like this is going to be really important make sure you're those listening ears are turned on full volume how does a plant begin number one let's dig in most plants start as a seed okay that'll be important the seed splits open a shoot pushes out this is called germination can you say that with me germination very good and it tells me down here, germination is the sprouting of a new plant from a seed. Oh, so it explained what that was. A new plant is beginning. A seedling starts to grow. Roots reach down into the soil. A stem pushes up into the air. So roots usually grow down and a stem grows up. You got it. Kiss your brain. You're a great listener. Good stuff. A plant grows. Just like you, a plant grows bigger and bigger. The roots spread out and down into the soil. The stem gets thicker and stronger. More leaves and branches grow. Do you know what soil is? Have you heard that before? Very good. Yes, it's like dirt. It says it's the top layer of earth which plants grow in. And you can see over here, kids are watering some plants. I need to do that later today when I put my seed in some soil. What do plants need? Oh, this seems important too. Plants need these things in order to grow. Soil, water, food, sunlight, air, and there's a sixth one, space. Hmm. Water and some food come from the soil. The roots soak them up. Sunlight and air enter in through the leaves. Plants use them to make more food. Plants also need space to grow. Just like you, you need space to grow too. You can't be all bunched up with somebody all the time. You gotta have your own space. Oh, here's another joke, ready? How does a flower ride a bike? Hmm. With its petals. <laughs> get it flowers have yeah okay <laughs> six fun facts about plants oh man number one this palm tree seed can weigh as much as a fourth grader do you know any fourth graders wow it's the heaviest seed in the world number two scrub a dub in the tub plants are used in many soaps and shampoos that is awesome i didn't know that did you Wow. Number three, the paper for this book was made from trees. Paper and can be made from trees. They're right. Number five, bamboo grows the fastest of any plant. It can grow as tall as three, as a three-year-old kid in one day. Wow. Do you know any three-year-old kids? Oh man. Uh, that's crazy that they can grow that tall in one day. And number six, the tallest living tree is taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York, USA. There's the Statue of Liberty. Wow, that's a tall tree. 
If you have ever seen the Statue of Liberty before, touch your nose. Well, and you know it's pretty tall, isn't it? If you've never been there before, you can ask your mom, dad, or any grown-up in your house, what does it look like? Or maybe even look up how tall it is. I'm not really sure off the top of my head. I don't know. It's a great question. Oh, flowers bloom. Can you say that word bloom with me? Ready? Bloom. You might remember that from another book we read together. Many plants grow flowers. They start as a bump called a bud. Can you say that word with me? Bud. Good. A bud kind of looks like my hand. It's closed, like a closed fist. A bud. The bud slowly opens. Slowly open your fingers. Ready? Make your fist. There's your bud. What's it called? Good. Slowly open the petals. They gently unfold. Not too fast. And surprise, it's a flower. So when the bud starts to open its petals up, that's when a flower will bloom. So we've got bud and bloom. Oh, here's another joke. You ready? What did one flower say to another? Hmm, maybe something with petals? <laughs> Hi, bud. Oh, that's a good one. Sticky pollen. Oh, I bet you know what that is. What kind of bug is that? A bumblebee, very good. Flowers make a sticky powder called pollen. Pollen sticks to birds and bees when they fly from flower to flower how sticky it is. Oh my. Then the pollen rubs off on other flowers. This is called pollination. It helps flowers make seeds. Wow, that is a pretty cool process. Seeds. Plant keep, plants keep seeds in different places. Do you think they keep seeds in their pockets? No. Do you think they keep them in like a little Ziploc bag? No, what about in a pouch? Do you think they have like a little pouch? You know, like they wear around their waist? No, you don't think they wear it around their waist? Oh, okay, let's find out. You're right. Many plants grow a case around the seeds. The case is called a pod. Peas, like peas in a pod. Peas and maple seeds grow in pods. You might have seen those before. They kind of whirly gig, I call them. They kind of flow down to the ground. Orange seeds are different. Their seeds are on the inside, but strawberry seeds are on the outside. Can you think of another fruit or vegetable that has seeds on the inside? Hmm. I'm thinking of a big green one that when you cut it open, it's red and has black and white seeds. A, a watermelon. Wow. Or oh, a pumpkin. That was a really good thought too. I'm glad you said that. Or something like strawberries that have seeds on the outside. There's other different things that have that too. Let's see though. We have another joke. What does a plant say when it doesn't want company? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm learning so much from this story. Let's stop for a second. I only have a few more pages left. Tell me one thing you've learned so far. Take a think moment. What have you learned so far? Okay. I'm so glad you listened for that. You are a fantastic listener. If you need more time to think about what you've learned so far, you can pause the video and come back at any point. Now the seeds take a trip. Some float on the wind. Others are carried away by animals. The seeds fall to the ground. Soon they sprout or germinate. A new plant begins. Birds carry seeds, a squirrel holds a large seed, and dandelion seeds scatter in the wind. Look at that. Pass the plants, please. Oh, look, there's that watermelon I was just talking about. People and animals eat plants to stay healthy. How many plants did you eat today? Hmm. Well, since it's the morning for me, I haven't eaten that many plants yet. I guess if you think about it, I did have some coffee this morning and coffee comes from beans, which is kind of a plant, but I wouldn't consider it a vegetable. Maybe for lunch, I might have some lettuce for a salad or 
maybe carrots or even some cucumbers. Those are all plants, they grow. Even strawberries, I think I have those in my fridge. What kinds of plants could you eat? Oh, that's great. Like she's eating watermelon and the panda's eating bamboo. Good thing, because I remember reading that bamboo shoots up pretty fast. Remember, it grows quickly. <gasps> Make your garden grow. Oh, this will be so helpful for after the story. You can ask your grown-up to grow your own bean plant. Ask a grown-up for help. Well, I am a grown-up, so I'll help you today. Soak your seed in a cup of water overnight. Fill the flower pot with soil. Push your seed down to the soil about one inch. Add a little water to moisten the soil and place the pot in a warm, sunny spot. Add a little water whenever your soil gets dry. Your seedling should sprout within one week. We'll do something very similar. I don't have beans, a lima bean, but I do have some other seeds that will work just as well. I'll show you after the story. Oh, here we go. What's a plant's favorite drink? Root beer. <laughs> oh boy, they're full of pretty funny things. Last few pages. What in the world? These pictures show close up views of things in this book. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. Oh boy, it says hint, this opens into a flower. Can you tell what that is? I'm thinking it might be a, be a bud. Let's see, and it says this part of a plant takes in sunlight and air. Can you tell what that is? I think you're right too. It looks like that's a bud and that's a leaf. And then there's just some fun little word bank things and cards that you could use from the vocabulary we learned today. Well, I really enjoyed reading that nonfiction story to you today. It's not really as, I guess, funny as when you read a fiction story, but nonfiction stories are so important because we can learn all kinds of things. Like I learned a plant has different needs like space and water and sun and air and soil. Those are all important things. And I can't wait to try that experiment to grow our own plant with you right now. I'm going to go get my materials and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. See you soon.